on the turns and spins, when we're first teaching a horse how to do this, uh, it's really important that we ask for the turn at the right time. And we basically, uh, as far as the spins are concerned, we want the horse to keep the front end on the ground and cross the front legs over. And if you ask for the turn or the spin at the wrong time, the horse is physically unable to do that. You'll actually cause the horse to hit itself, to smack its front legs together. So this timing is critical, and I'm going to show you how to do it. The, uh, uh, the, but first I should probably explain there's, there's, there's two types of spins. One is a trot and spin where the horse will, will plant its pivot foot and bring the front end around and it'll be in a trotting gait in front. You'll see, the, you'll see the, the front end come around one, two, one, two, one, two. And that kind of spin, the horse stays pretty low on the ground and it's real smooth and it's really pretty. Um, and it's the type of spin that I prefer. But the other type of spin um, that you can teach your horse is the loping spin, where again, he's planting the pivot foot, but his front end is in a loping gait, in a cantering gait as it comes around, and he's actually got the pivot foot planted, and he's kind of loping in front. And that kind of that kind of spin is just as fast, but it's a little more elevated, um, and in my opinion, it's not. It doesn't look quite as pretty. It doesn't. It's not quite as finesse. Um, but either way is fine. It's whatever you prefer. Right, right now in, in the uh, quarter horse shows and uh, most of the open reinings, they, they like to see the, the horse trot in that spin. But because I, I really like the trot and spin, that's what we're going to concentrate on here. Okay. When I'm first starting to teach this, all I'm, all's I really want to do is walk a circle. And I want the outside front leg to reach forward and cross over the inside leg. So the action is here's the inside leg. We're going to go to the left. So the left leg comes forward and touches down. The outside front leg comes forward, reaches in front of it and crosses over in front of it and then pushes off and we just have the type of action where it's step, cross, step, cross, step, cross and that makes for that nice pretty spin with the front end on the ground. So to teach that, what I do is I walk a circle, and as I walk this circle, I want you to notice the outside front leg going forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. And that's where my timing is going to come from with the rain. I'm actually going to ask the horse to turn when the front, when the outside front leg is back and on the way forward, okay? So they're walking, here we're going to the left, so the inside leg is walking, the outside leg is going forward and back. When, when the outside leg reaches its farthest point back, in a split second, it's going to be going forward. So as soon as I feel the, the split second, I feel the outside front leg start to go forward, that's when I use my reins and ask for the turn, okay? And that allows the horse to step farther. The leg's already in motion on the way forward. It can step farther and cross over. If I ask for the turn when the outside front leg is on the way back, what's going to happen is the horse is going to want to obey the rein. It's going to want to move off the rein, but now the leg's moving back. Here I've used the rein and asked it to turn. It moves off the rein, and it's going to cross under and hit itself, and you'll get a real hopping action in the turnaround. Matter of fact, if you're turning your horses around, whether it's spinning or half turns, and they're coming up off the ground, or they're hopping, the front end's hopping, chances are you're asking for the turn at the wrong time, 
and that you're forcing that horse to cross under and hit itself, okay? So as I'm riding, I've done this so much that I can actually feel when the outside leg is going back and on the way forward. But if you're just starting to learn this, a good way to uh, get started is just be walking and look down at the shoulder. When the shoulder goes forward, the front leg's going forward. When the shoulder's going back, the front leg's going back. And when you see the shoulder all the way back, you're gonna start moving your reins and ask for the turn and you'll get a crossover. So I'm walking the circle and I ask for the turn now. Good. Walk the circle, ask for the turn now. Good. See, when I, when I asked for the turn, when I said now, that's when the reins came against her neck and so she'd move off the rein and I timed it so the front leg was on the forward travel so she could reach forward and cross over. Now I'm, I want the camera to zoom in on this mare's legs and I'm gonna walk and ask her to cross over and I'm gonna bring it down into a spin so you can see what the front legs are actually doing. Rain, 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 rain. Oh. Okay, now as, every time I said rain, that's when I laid the reins against her neck when the front leg was on its way going forward. Now I'm gonna take her into a spin. Rain, 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 rain. Okay, I hope that, I hope that explains, uh, gets a clear picture in your head of when you should use the reins. It takes a little bit of practice for it to become second nature, but it's really critical that you use your, your reins at the right time so the horse can actually physically do what you want it to do, you know, he, so that he can actually reach forward and cross over instead of crossing under and hitting himself.